what's going on guys welcome back to another tutorial today I'm gonna show you guys a simple way how to sidechain compress your kick and your 808 so they won't clash um, I know a lot of people they layer both their 808 and their kick to hit at the same time but for this beat I didn't do that let me play the kick for you guys and then I'll play the 8 well I'll play both of them at the same time uh, So that's pretty much it right there. All I've really done is just EQ'd a little bit, just took out a lot of the highs. So the simplest way to sidechain compress is to put a compressor on your 808. And for that, you can use any compressor. I'm using the Waves R compressor. And you can see right here where it says sidechain. You just want to click there and then just look for the kick. So a lot of these, um, the simplest way to find out where your kick is, is to actually just look at it. So label everything and it says kick here. Scroll up, it says bus nine. So you just wanna look for bus nine. And then when you play it, if I were to bring the threshold down, And you can hear it where when the kick is punching, the 808 is like ducking under. So you could just mess with this. Um, you could also use a preset. I know the preset that works good for this is called Pumper. So let me play that for you guys. Just bring the threshold down. Probably bring the ratio down a little more. And bring up the gain. mess with the attack and the release if you want a um, fast attack or a fast release I usually keep it pretty fast the attack and the release so it won't like mess with it that much so that's how it's sounding right now uh, let me bypass it and then you can hear it both with and without it so this is without the side chain and you can hear it where it's uh, where both levels are clashing and they're fighting for frequencies so when you turn this on like I said the 808 ducks under the kick so when they hit at the same time you could hear the kick more and you could reverse it too if you want the 808 on top of the kick you could put the compressor on the kick and then just side chain the 808 and just do it like this but the opposite way so this is with the with the compressor on and you can hear where the 808 is a uh, ducky and it makes it makes everything sound better so let me play the beat for you guys real quick it's a simple beat I'm gonna bypass the compressor here so you guys can be able to hear the difference So that's pretty much the thing is just side side chaining the kick and the 808. So the kick is on top of the 808. And like I said, you can reverse it if you want the 808 on top of the kick. You just put the compression on the kick. So I just wanted to show you guys this method of doing it. I know there's another method and it's called using a ghost kick. Uh, I don't really use that method. I use this one to side chain. So if you watch the end, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. 
My name is David. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.